Alrighty, so you're probably here because you clicked on the thumbnail and want to know how to make a curved turret. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to do this pretty quickly. Um, if you're in the official Discord, probably saw this in Replica Designs. Uh, you could have been like me, opened it, and not have any idea how to use it. Uh, read through the WordPad, or Word Doc, not WordPad, um, Word Doc for it, and tried to teach yourself how to do it. And either came out pretty good or still confused or you just didn't know about it at all and want to learn how to make a curved turn sprocket so I'm going to help you no matter what stage of this you're on I'm still learning so but I feel like I have it down pretty well now it's extremely easy to do it's really not difficult at all so in the discord here you go put in by Turnman Jones on the 20th so two days ago and Baron Von Sosen for the webpage for this and then cement one for sharing this that he found it um, if you're not in the sprocket official discord I would suggest that you are uh, I am listed as a content creator in there which is pretty cool and all these other guys in here so please join it <laughs> and please keep watching my stuff this is really cool anyways let's get into the tutorial itself you can do all of this with the game open by the way so in game here we go with just a regular tank not anything done to it remember mark 22 so the first thing that I recommend doing is making the turret really small and you'll understand why in a minute this is this is important if you don't want a bunch of holes in it and I'll understand you'll, you'll understand why so now that we've done that save it as is and in your on the web page you're gonna see all of this stuff in there now turret diameter is gonna be the overall width of the turret itself and how you get that number is basically taking the width of the tank and adding the width of the sponsons so this is gonna be 2.8 and here we're gonna put 2.75 the number of segments is going to matter with how many panels are on each of these values around. It's basically going to make it a lot smoother the higher number you put here. I just go with 40 because it looks good along with these numbers. These aren't the, I guess, the normal numbers that are in it, but the more angles you have in here, the more values that you have, the taller the tank's going to be or the turret's going to be. So I went from 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 15, and then nothing. So you can use this as an example and play with it from there. You can use this exact 40 and these values. I'd recommend it so you know what you're doing or get to see it and work with it on your own. And the offset is basically going to be from the middle from here, left, right, or left, it, it, these directions you know X and Y and then Z is up and down so if you want it directly centered on it just don't mess with it you can choose what panel you can choose the square ones these riveted or non riveted uh, panel scale don't mess with this honestly because it pretty much tells you not to worry about it unless you <clears throat> later down the road know what you're getting into and play with this a lot then be a, by all means use it that's what it's there for so next which we're gonna do you don't know, you can also don't really need to mess with these just generate turret and you're gonna get this whole long thing of a bunch of numbers and letters and brackets and all that shit so what you're gonna do now is remember mark 22 is the tank we're doing this with go into your file explorer go to your vehicle blueprints under documents my game sprocket factions default blueprints vehicles your faction doesn't have to be default it can be any of them do not go into the turret like I did before for my turret blueprints don't do that just go into vehicles so go down to we're doing this on the mark 22 go to the blueprint not BP meta open it up notepad works just fine now a lot of people damn it later down the road uh, when you're making more 
stuff and get more comfortable with messing with this stuff inside the files, you'll see a lot of people who are doing the uh, very, very realistic builds will, or builds will go into the file and change uh, values in it. But that's not what we're doing. You're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to see this EXT and then you're going to see these two brackets. So what you're going to do, copy text, go click in between those two brackets and just hit paste. Now all you got to do now is hit save, go back to your game, hit this uh, the folder for you to reload and it was the mark 22 and there you go. There is your perfectly rounded turret. Now you can click on and remove these panels. The reason why I told you to make the turret really small is because if you have it normal and you're like uh, ah see I just did it on accident trying to fix this so if you had it like it normally was and it was uh, sticking out like this it would have poked holes in it kinda like how I just did by clicking on them on accident so after you have it in there just go into the shape of the turret and you can just like fill it out without clipping through it and you can uh, make the space bigger and then generally just fill out the inside of the uh, turret itself. Now you're going to know that there's nothing over the top but that's not really that big of a deal. I'll just show you a vehicle I made earlier when I was teaching myself how to do this and as you can see it's not an issue after you uh, figure out what you need to do. I decided to make a T-55 because of a rounded turret. Soviet Cold War makes sense. So anyways, that's pretty much all you need to know. Um, there's not a whole lot else after this. Uh, as you start playing with it more and doing stuff to it, you can start um, getting more in-depth with customizing stuff within, you, uh, within the files itself. And you can... Uh, make some pretty crazy stuff having this and as you can see is there's no gaps in it it looks perfectly fine um, but obviously the turret under this the real turret is really square <laughs> has a lot of angles to it but this is perfectly rounded and looks really nice so if you don't want to spend your time going on the fuel tank method or the sled method then this is probably the best best thing for you to do now until we get curved turrets, I would say this is probably going to give you the most uh, rounded that you can possibly get. Um, I mean, you could probably get better if you spend a hell of a long time doing the fuel tanks and stuff, but this is probably uh, the quickest. So, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to be making more tutorials later on down the road, like engine, transmission, new stuff as it comes along. It's just subscribe if you haven't already and let me know what you ended up making whether you knew this was a thing or not or didn't learn how to or didn't really know how to use it up until now so anyways guys i will see y'all later